July 1st, 2022, and I just left a uh, guy's place. Um, it's 11.41 p.m., and it just got a little too intense for me, and I needed to leave. Ah, I swear, all these guys want to do is just have sex. Like, I, this is my second date with him, and he just got a little too intense for me, and, um, I told him, like, I don't sleep with somebody on this, you know, on the second. I don't sleep with somebody this soon, and he's like, oh, it's okay, you know? So he's there, like, petting my back and stuff, and then he just goes right back to trying to, like, make out with me and get all intense and stuff, and he's like, I can tell you're really passionate, and I'm like... I'm thinking to myself, yeah, but not with you. Ah, <laughs> oh, so annoying. It's so annoying that even at this stage in life, all guys want to do is just have sex. Ah, oh. it's like you know what? And I'm not even into this guy like that. And he seemed like a little more just like calm and gentle and shy, but. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The minute he had like a yesterday when we were went on our first date, well we had a mini date, but when we went on our first date, we went to the movies. He didn't hesitate to lean in and give me a kiss, and I was like, okay, I don't necessarily feel like we were mutually. I was mutually there with him without, but he had he he leaned in and I kissed him. I have been in the mood for physical contact since since Montana left and since this other person, Minnesota guy uh, situation <laughs> um, I've been in the mood for physical contact so just because I'm still in that so I let him kiss me and he's, he's a nice kisser, he actually told me today he's like, wow you're a great kisser and I'm like yeah I am <laughs> <laughs> he liked that response and he's like wow yeah own it <laughs> I'm only a woman what can I say <laughs> and that's what I told Minnesota the one of the last times that we spoke I said you know what I'm too cool for you <laughs> although he's a Leo he said he identifies as his Chinese zodiac the snake and I was like ugh <laughs> I'm like I don't want to talk to you anymore what Leo male ever says he identifies as anything else other than first being a Leo but anyway, and it shows, and it shows he doesn't act like a Leo male in some things, but whatever. I just, I just told him I'm too cool for you <laughs> and, um, and you need somebody that is not a Leo woman that doesn't know who she is. So you can like manipulate and get in there and get in her head and, and, uh, mold her to your liking. I said, I know who I am. I know what I bring to the table. I know who I, I what I have to offer. Um, I don't need you. I thought, you know, that we were really vibing, so it was cool. But I don't need you. So, yeah, we're not gonna work out. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just. In the end, I think Minnesota just wanted to have sex too. He wanted to sleep with me, and he was being patient and love bombing me left and right, and so. My friends were sad about it and they thought, you know, he was creepy and stuff. And the thing is, I, I'm not sad about it because what happened while I was purging Montana, while I was purging my twin flame, Minnesota guy came at the right time to help me move forward, move on from that that feeling of loss that I was feeling at the time and anytime I feel lost with any guy um I always go back to my twin flame like I seek my twin flame's comfort like the energy weird because I mean honestly he, it's weird because that person that the soul is attached to is not someone I even really keep in contact with I don't you know from time to time we connect but it's not even anything um, in terms of that, but in terms of soul connection, in terms of that, um, I can tap into that energy. And so, uh, anytime I've ever been in distress, 
about a relationship, I tap into that energy and it, it brings me solace. It brings me comfort to know that there's this frequency that I can tap into that is that feels like home. So, so I was really, with the whole Montana thing, I mean, the whole Montana thing affected me and affected me more than I then I understand in some ways just because I've been numb. I've been numb to things and I was so taken back by all the level of deception that it was, it's been hard to process and I'm still in that. It's hard to process. But anyway, I just, I had to leave. He didn't want me to go and he was like petting my back and he like went under my sweater and like he was touching my back and I was like, oh, no, no. I'm definitely going to go because I am not. I'm not sleeping with you. I'm not. I don't. I didn't sleep with freaking Minnesota. And Minnesota, I have, I was starting to feel like um, I had a sexual attraction to him. I did. Um, because I'm pretty sure I am attracted to the rush that toxic men bring me. And I am on a path of enlightenment <laughs> where I'm beginning to understand these things as uncomfortable as they are it's true and so I am a I I am I am attracted to toxic men and the rush that they give me so I'm learning to back off and I'm really really proud of the way I handled Minnesota okay it's like I told my friends don't feel sad because he got me um, even though he was love bombing me, I was aware of that. I was aware of what he was doing, but I allowed myself to be love bombed. I allowed myself to flow in that. And even though I knew that it wasn't going to go anywhere with him, um, because I could see the kind of person that he was. Um, although I didn't think his objective was to sleep with me at the beginning. It was, it ended up being that. And since I told him that he wasn't going to get any, he just created a, an excuse, a reason to just like stop trying because you realize that this chick isn't going to be putting out and I'm just wasting my time here. So I knew that he wasn't serious with everything he was saying, but that attention that he gave me, that extra oomph, that connection that we had for a little while, it drew me sexually and it drew me away from, from Montana and I needed that. I needed to be drawn away from Montana because Montana was nine months. Nine, Montana was nine months of gaslighting. Montana was nine, nine months of cheating. Montana was nine months of deception. Montana was nine months of so many things. And it did so much to my self-esteem. It did. It just hurt. It hurt me on a, on a deeper level that most people don't get to. He did. Because at one point I did, I felt, I, I loved him at one point. And when he came back from Montana, um, with that determination that he had, I believe that maybe we had a chance. And that's when I, I went to religion with him and stuff because I thought it's helping him over there. I hope that helps him here. But I mean, he just went, he went downhill with all of it. Like he just, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that he went through all the trouble of coming back from Montana just so he could like first opportunity he had to to demonstrate that he he was he was loyal he just he didn't you know it was just what he said to me when he left I think will always stay with me when it comes to him and that was um I'm sorry for my for what I'm battling with I'm sorry for 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 yeah for what I'm battling with for my inner struggles. He'll always be that way. Unless he seeks. Some deep therapy. And I don't think he has it in him. I don't think he sees the problem. I think he thinks. I know. Because I've heard him say it. He thinks that it's not a big deal. And he's okay. But if it wasn't a big deal. He wouldn't be destroying his good relationships because of it. And he wouldn't have done the things that he did for so long. Because he's, in the end, he was destroying himself too financially and emotionally. And, I mean, none of what he was 
doing was anything healthy to for his heart and soul, mind, body, nothing, nothing. But anyway, I digress. I am just, I'm tired. I'm going to go home. I'm disappointed. I don't want to see him tomorrow. He wants to see me again tomorrow and on 4th of July. And I don't, I don't, I just, I don't want another guy who just wants to do me, you know? I want somebody in my life to to wanna connect, to wanna to wanna yes, sees me as beautiful, but is also proud of me and wants to get to know me, wants to to interact with me and build with me and get to know my hobbies and do things I don't know. I'm just I'm disappointed. I'm not even into this guy that way. I'm not. I'm not. Um I'm not. Damn it. <laughs> um, I'm out here. I haven't been able to make a video in so long because, well, I'm either working or I'm with my son. And um, I've had the babysitter take care of, of my son once or twice. But I've, I have been going on a few dates. So <laughs> I think I need to stop and just take a break. But I just wanted to run with it for a minute because I've never done this. I've never just gone on dates and gotten to know people and um I've been doing that just for a minute um just to just because I can just because I can and I'm young still and I'm attractive and why the f not you know I'm just not taking anything really serious not thinking anything of anyone no one's really sparked me that way um yeah, I haven't had a connection with anybody. No one special. I guess Montana was about the last person. And even he wasn't like, oh my gosh, you know, I feel something. I didn't. I didn't. Montana was more like, okay, I've been single for a while. Maybe this is what it's like to date in this stage. And um, and so I'm going to go with it. You know, I'm going to... I'm going to examine this, see what this is like. And no, that was a mistake, but <sighs> so frustrated. I'm frustrated right now. I think tomorrow I'm going to make an excuse as to why. I mean, I have a wedding to go to anyway, but I'm not feeling this guy. I, I think we could be friends. The wind is really blowing today. It sounds like music. We could be friends, but I'm not feeling him. Oh, in any other any other way, romantically. Um, and his goals and my goals do not match up, even though we do have things in common. Um, they don't match up. He's going... He actually says he feels at home in Baja. He wants to live in San Diego, or he wants to live in Baja. And it's like, whoa, that's uh, the way the other side and... Mm. I've thought about doing that with uh, one or two of my lovers, but um, definitely not this guy. I don't feel him like that. So anyway, I'm going to go home now because I just got felt up <laughs> and I'm not in the mood. And I got that happened to me on last Sunday. That happened to me last Sunday, and it wasn't... I made a video about it, but it was too intense, and I didn't want to post it. I'm not ready for everybody to know, but... Um, that kind of happened to me on Sunday, and it wasn't consensual. Um, it was... It was scary, and I got overpowered, and... Um, my no didn't mean no to him. Just, I'm not even going to say who it was. My no didn't mean no to him. And, um, it got to a point where when I finally was able to take some power back, I told that person that he needed to leave. They were at my house, that he needed to go home. And I never thought that that would be something that I would have struggled with with this person because I considered this guy a friend. And um, he came over. He was very eager to come over, but he came over on the premise of, are you okay? And I know that you broke up with your boyfriend and I'm here for you. And 
um, what it turned into was him trying to sleep with me and getting so agitated that I wasn't allowing him to. Um, I have not been, like, I'm not playing games, but I, I told this guy no, like, he couldn't come over for a very long time. Mostly because Montana was here. Um, and, and, you know, just, I had a boyfriend. And so I wasn't trying to play play anything or or but I guess it agitated him in some way or because I was saying no he wanted it more and the moment he had an opportunity to come visit me on the premise of hey are you okay or you know I'm I'm here for you let me come give you a hug it turned into something really dark and um and it frightened me it frightened me because he overpowered me and uh, just things happened that I I did not consent to and so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of really upset about that. And I just, I, I made a video the day after and then it was, it, it was too graphic and intense and I didn't post it. Um, I have it just sitting there and I don't think I want to post it and I want to stop talking about this now. But yeah, that happened. It sucks. It sucks not having somebody that that cares about me and cares about my safety. Who cares about my child and his safety. Just, I'm so tired of all these guys that all they want to do is just fucking have sex. It's so fucking annoying. There's more, there's more to life than just fucking... Than just fucking. <laughs> There's more to two people and a connection than just fucking. You guys are so fucking lame. 